My name is Francis Otieno Dindo. I'm a resident of Lumba Village that is uh, situated or located in uh, East Assembo, South Ramba. Uh, I wish to state categorically what transpired as I witnessed myself. That the fight started, they invaded, they invaded the, the project, they started uh, demolishing everything. And uh, to be sincere, they decided to start throwing those who are looking from uh, afar with the stones, and that's how they were started. Therefore, what I'm, I want to say here, that the meeting was never called by people from Lumba. The meeting was, with the information or with the letter that I have, that I have in my hand, the meeting was called by our area MCA, and uh, it was purported or they claim that the meeting was peaceful. People from Lumba village never planned what has happened and they will never plan such kind of act. When things are supposed to be this way, we think it's supposed to be done peacefully. And our members or our security forces were supposed to be engaged. Now it has happened. We want to say that this thing was planned by some other people from outside South Ramba, East Assembo, not people from South Ramba themselves. Because if it is people from South Ramba, all of them are here. And these faces are the faces of this place. Uh, with those few remarks, I wish to state that we never had information of such an act that was going to happen here. And we want to uh, condemned with the strongest terms possible that our area MCA has failed us, has done something that has never happened in this place and it should never happen again anywhere else. So the stand action must be taken to our area MCA with those people who planned that meeting that he attended. Uh, I think that the problem that is there is between the two investors, the old one that uh, which has been there, uh, North Ramba, Mr. Isaac, and the new one that has come to South Ramba, of which the South Ramba people, Lumba Village, are thinking that that is a God's blessing because they have gotten what they have never gotten before. Now it's like they want to fight themselves concerning the gold mining, or they want to fight the resources between them, not the people of South Ramba. Kwa majina ninaitwa Isaac Oduma Ayugi, mzaliwa wa North Ramba, mkaaji wa area hii. Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba ningetaka kukasifu matendo ya maovu ambayo yalitendeka huku jana kupitia mkononi mwa licho chaguliwa kwa kupendwa mheshimiwa Godo Nonguru ambaye kwa sasa tujui yako wapi tangu jana kitendo kama hicho ifanyike atuja muona na kama kama mkaaji wa Ramba ningetaka Godon awe ajibike kwa yale ambayo yalitendeka jana kwa sababu hatukutarajia kama mwanasiasa na mwenye amechaguliwa na wananchi mkutano wenyewe hakukuwa na security ambapo mwenyewe kama msimamizi wa area alikuwa na uwezo wa kusimamisha hiyo mkutano isiendelee ndio maafa kama yale yalitokea jana yasitokee na kwa sababu yalitokea Ningependa nikasifu tena kwa sauti kubwa na niseme ya kwamba kama mkaaji wa North Ramba atungependa kuona vitu kama hayo kwa siku zijazo na tuwe watu ambaye ni wakarimu vile tumekuwa tangu jadi kwa, kwa nini ninasema hivyo mara mingi watu naambiwa tujaribu ku create job opportunities 
ni uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu ametuletea mwingine ambaye amekuja nyuma ya Isaac ili aweze pia kutuajiri ama kutupea mkate wa kila siku. Kwa nini tumskume na hatujaona ubaya wake, hatujaona uzuri wake? Tungengojea kama waramba atukose ama tutendee mema hapo ndiyo tuweze kuwa na vile tungeweza kumjaji. Lakini kwa sababu hajafanya Isaac amefanya. Tungeomba amani iwepo na tupatiane nafasi kwa kila mmoja ambaye ako na nia ya kufanya kazi ila tu afuate sheria na kazi ifanyike kwa amani na ifuate uh, kanuni ya kazi ama sheria ya Kenya na afanye kazi na wanaramba vile inavyotakikana. Sina la siada kama mtu mzima. Ninawaombe tena, hatujajua ni nini tumepangiwa tena mbele. Na yakitokea sisi wenyewe tusiact, tusifanye kitendo cha unyama vile tulikuwa na amani jana mpaka ikafika wakati sasa tulichokoswa. Kutoka mahali mkutano ilikuwa hadi waje mpaka huku ilikuwa ni uchokozi, ni hatu mbali sana. Ambapo haingefanyika. Kama sio watu wa kutumwa, hayo hayangefanyika. Mwenye kampuni mwenye anaitwa Sijui Mchaina, huyo anaitwa Amos. Hakuna Mchaina mwenye anaitwa Amos. Huyo ni mluya kutoka Western Kenya, kutoka area ya Bungoma. Amekuja atulete chakula. Jameni tumkaribise atuweke chakula mesani tuone pia vile anapika aisa akamepika tumekula zake tuone vile huyu pia anapika kama haitatufaa basi si wenyewe tuamue tumtaki kwa majina naitwa Noro Tieno na niko hapa kwa sababu ya kibarua kidogo na kulingana na kitendo ambacho tuliona jana haikuwa mzuri sana kulingana watu wa Isa walitoka huko kwa Ramba wakikuja hapa kwa kampuni yetu hapa kutuchokoza Aso waliingia na kukatakata mabati pale kwa kambi ya Amos lakini hatukufurahishwa kwa sababu ilikuwa ni vita ambayo sio ya kawaida. Sasa tunaomba tu watu wachie upande wetu kwa sababu hapa tunapata pesa ya sabuni, tunapata vile tunapita kwa watoto shule. Aso wakitufanyia hivi tutasinda na njaa. Na hiyo sio kitendo mzuri. Watu wachie upande wetu tufanye kazi yetu kwa amani. Kwa majina naitwa Lea Kinyokudo. Mimi ni mimi ni mkwa, mkaji wa hapa Lumba. Kwa hivyo atukufuraa na ile kitendo chenye MC yetu alitutendea. Juu sisi watoto wetu wanafanya kazi hapa. Kama sio wema wa Mungu, watoto wetu wangekufa juu ya MCA. Kwa hivyo atupendi hiyo kitendo na tunaambia Bwana Isaac afanye chenye alimleta kama hawezi arudi kwao hatutaki hii ujinga apeleke ujinga kwao na mbarikiwe mimi naitwa Jaliso Tieno mimi mkaaji hapa Ramba hatutafurahia hatujafurahi na, kit, na kitendo yenye ilifanyika jana na MC yetu Godon Onguru tulichagua Godon Atu, atuletea maendeleo na tu kuchagua Godon akuje afukuse investor yenye imekuja kusaidia watu. Kwa hivyo kwenye Godon alifanya na Isaac si mzuri. Kwa sababu hakuna public participation inaitwa kwa mustuni na hakuna security. Hii ilikuwa siasa, haikuwa public participation, ilikuwa siasa ya kutoa Amos kwa kasi. Na Amos pia ni, invest, ni investor. Na hata Godo analisema wakati ngine, akipata investor mbili tatu, itakuwa mzuri. Sasa tuko na investor mbili, kwa nini na nataka kufuta ingine na mungina na waja. Sasa Godo, Godo ameweko kwa mfuku, amepewa pesa. Na yetu lichagua yeka maezi yetu. Haende fanyi sisi kati, hakuna kasi ya maisha fanya. Hameweko mfuku sasa na Isaac. Hamekuja kuletea watu mgiki kutoka watu wanatoka guli zimetolewa kizumu, zimetolewa bondo. Zumetolewa kuna jama ingine na yetu atuwa monyun, hametoa zingine hata huko nyilima. Na sisi ya tuja fry na yuju, hata kama sisi tumeact, ingekuwa mbaya. My name is Kletu Kemboi Kimayo, the county police commander, CIA account. I want to confirm that there was an incident yesterday at Rariada Sub County, where the area MCA mobilize some youth to discuss issues of mining within a place known as Ramba. Some NGA officers were there and we never knew that 
the MCRs had ill intentions concerning the same meeting. I want to report that there are two investors within that Ramba who are doing mining activities, extraction and other issues of mining. So when the MCA mobilized this youth or uh, organized, it, convened this meeting, after the meeting, there are some youths who decided to took the law into their hands and went to one of the competitors by the name Barasa, Amos Barasa, and tried to bring down iron sheet fence which is in uh, which is enclosing that mining site. Due to the fact that that investor had employed a lot of youth and members of the community within that area. So the local community within that area reacted to that crew which came from the MCS meeting and an eruption of criminal activities emerged there whereby the two sides, the opposing sides clashed whereby one person was killed on the spot and one was injured. The injured person was taken to hospital that is Pondo Subpound Hospital to receive treatment. The other person, my officers responded but again, they were prevented from collecting the body by the local community, whereby they were saying that until the MCA goes to the site to explain why he mobilized the youth to attack the investor. So we kept some time. We never wanted to intervene with a lot of force because it could have resulted into another calamity. So we kept some time. And during negotiation in the evening, my officers were able, were able to collect the body, body from the site. So the body was taken to Bondo County Hospital. Where again, in the hospital mock, we got information that the person who had been injured earlier also succumbed to the injuries. So, so far we have two fatalities. And the police and the DCI officers are investigating the case. They are even looking for the MCA so that they can write a statement to tell us why he mobilized the youth and to explain again what was his intention and as far as those mining activities were concerned. We are very much aware and we can confirm that the local community within that area of mining are very much bro the two investors even though we understand that the two investors are opposing each other we are still investigating to to find out or to establish if one of the investors is responsible for the chaos which erupted yesterday through investigation, we are going to establish that. I want to tell the members of the public that they should not be used by politicians to cause havoc to other people. And I urge even the politicians that because they depend on the, on, on these local people during their political agendas, I urge them not to to incite one group of the population against another group of the population because both of them are important to them. And again, we, can, we, we will not entertain any kind of hooliganism within the area or within the county. Any person who is going to cause havoc or any anything which will be against peace or against the harmony with the, the harmonious living of the harmonious living relations within the within the county, we are we are not going to entertain that. Any kind of criminal criminal activity is going to be dealt according to the law. So we still urge the MCA to surrender himself, or we are going to look for him so that we can 
interrogate him to tell us more about what happened yesterday. Because we cannot just convene a meeting and incite a group of people to go against the other one. It is not good at all. If there are anything, if it is an issue of licensing those mining activities, we have a department within the government to look into that. If the people are not satisfied with the activities of those investors in that place, they could have even called the police plus the local administrative officers so that we can discuss those issues at, as, as stakeholders consultation meeting so that we can come up with an amicable solution. Even the DCC, is, the DCC is there to coordinate all government activities within the county or within the sub-county. You could have even consulted the DCC. The DCC will mobilize his team, the Security Intelligence Committee. And even they can coordinate with the Mining Department, the NEMA Department, and even the Health Department, because all those issues of mining go in hand with the health, environmental impact, and the Mining Department. So I think if we have issues next time, I can urge even the, the because the MCS the MCS has the influence within the community. I urge him or I urge any other politician that if there are issues, let us mobilize the right stakeholders so that we can discuss those issues pertaining to a certain issue and come up with a makeable solution than resorting to incitement and mobilizing some youths which have been brought to, from other areas so that they can cause havoc to other people. Otherwise it is regrettable that, that that thing happened and the police are in the lookout so that such issues cannot happen again. Thank you very much. Yeah.